More than two months after historic storms left a path of destruction on the western side of the park, trail crews are still hard at work cleaning up the mess. The late April super outbreak of storms produced over 300 tornadoes across the southeast, including an EF4 tornado that touched down just outside Great Smoky Mountains National Park and ripped through its northwestern edge. Over 30 miles of trails in the area have been closed or partially closed since, including three campsites. Hatcher Mountain and Beard Cane trails were most heavily impacted by the tornado. These trails traverse a fairly straight path, beginning at Abrams Creek and terminating near Hurricane Mountain, so named for another storm that hit the area in the early 19th century. The April tornado traced these trails through the straight, narrow valley on the east side of Hatcher Mountain twisting and piling tree upon tree into a knotted heap on top of the trails. Many sections of trail were left impassable and extremely hazardous. The park has called upon the assistance of special crews from Joshua Tree, Kings Canyon, and Canyonlands National Parks to take on the monumental task of cutting trees so that the work of clearing and repairing the trails can begin. The extent of the damage has made this a challenging feat. Trees that have fallen over trails often need to be cut from their bases above the trail so that they can be lowered, cut, and removed from the pathway. Trail crews were able to clear and reopen the popular two and a half mile stretch of Abrams Falls Trail to the waterfall by Memorial Day. The entire length of the trail is now open. The large majority of the trail retains its allure, a pleasant walk beneath rhododendron, hemlock, and pine a great chance to enjoy the forest shade while taking in beautiful scenes of the river along the trail. But about halfway to the waterfall, the effects of the storm are evident. Violent winds overturned and topped many of the trees on the northwest face of Arbutus Ridge, leaving behind a twisted mass of vegetation and damaging the trail surface. Crews have cleared and rehabilitated the trail reinforcing with walls where overturned root balls had left huge craters. The downed trees mean less shade on this short portion of the trail and have opened up views of Abrams Creek down below that were not possible before. Though this damage is impressive, the affected portion of Abrams Falls Trail is small in comparison to those trails in the direct line of the tornado. It could be months before the remaining trails are reopened as the enormous effort of cleaning up after this historic storm continues. <laughs>